Hello Coloring Craze family, hope you guys are doing well. So this week's page is from Pop Manga's Cute and Creepy Coloring Book by Camila De Erico. And please forgive me if I have uh, said her name incorrectly. Um, so this is the Bumblebee uh, page and I thought being the Halloween month, why not go with some cute and creepy things. So this bumblebee is so cute and uh, I really really enjoyed doing this page. Uh, so we start with our shadows first as usual and go along with our midtones and highlights. And uh, the special thing about this page I think is the background. So uh, we'll see there. But before that I want to mention this to you guys that when we color the, you know, the face of the bee, I used my blending pencil here because I didn't want the textures which are already on the bee's face to be gone. So I just used uh, two colors here, uh, my uh, black and uh, espresso and then uh, blended, along, blended the colors with each other and uh, saved some space for the highlights using the blending pencil. So yeah, we'll see when we do the background.
So for the background, we are going to do a honey dripping effect uh, behind the bee. And for this, you have to first draw the dripping shape uh, as you want, and then go along uh, with the darkest shade you have, and then uh, with the midtones, and then the highlights. The highlights uh, being the most part here will give a more natural and realistic look to the dripping. So uh, after you're done with the pencils, uh, you can just blend it with your highlight or I have used the shade Antique Linen from Distress Ink and I used that shade to uh, blend over my pencils and I used a finger sponge blender here. And uh, as you can see, the nuts and the lightning are like embedded in the uh, honey. So I gave them a dripping uh, drop effect from the bottom edge of each and every lightning and the bolt and so that it will be like you know they are there in the honey so for the part which is behind the uh, bee on the top behind the bees uh, wings and um, head I used my uh, kids ink pad and I used the brown orange and uh, yellow shades uh, you know to just blend in the uh, colors uh, you can use that option but you can also use the color pencils using the in ink pads uh, made it way easier and made it look very uh, you know clean and smooth and for the wings uh, also I used my uh, anti cleaning shade from the distress ink you know to have that uh, transparent yet no transparent wings and after that I went along with my gel pen uh, over a few lines uh, on the wings and my black pencil to have that you know uh, darkest edge to the wings and once you're done you're done with the page and I hope you guys had fun watching this video if you have any doubts you can always uh, post in the comments and I'll always try my best to help you all out so meet you all next week and until then happy coloring bye